what's going on everybody west coast southern out here so it's hot yeah we're out here and it's hot so what we're gonna do we're gonna find a nice little spot and we're gonna walk around the bike because i know uh here and there i've made videos about certain things but today we're going to talk about the whole bike the whole bike it's gonna be huge what street is this that's not where i want to be um, so we're gonna go see uh how this park is if it's you know un, un unbusy not busy is probably a better term we're gonna go over the bike um if it's a little busy then so like I got earlier, it's a little busy, then we'll, we'll find a new venue, uh, but uh, yeah, that's what we're, we're fixing to do. So uh, it's a sweaty guy there, boy, it's hot, what, boom, thumbnails, but uh, yeah, we're going to do that, I will see you when we get there. What's up guys? So. Um, the park, which is over there, doesn't have a parking lot. It's more like pull up to the sidewalk and then let your kids out. So, I'm going to use this school bus loading zone instead. So, let's get to it. So, 2018 Fat Bob with the 107 does not have ABS, and we're getting there's a reason I mentioned that. Uh, so, let's start with uh with the Saddleman Renegade solo seat. Uh, looks better than stock. Fits the lines of the bike very well. Uh, I know a lot of people are using like a Mustang seat. And for me, the Mustang seat just kind of sticks out. Doesn't follow the lines very well. Um, so I went with the Saddleman. So it's got the gel core uh, in, inside of it or whatever. Uh, so it's foam and there's also a you know a layer of gel in there and it's pretty comfortable um no complaints i think I, I just went on a ride that was like an hour and a half or something like that and um was very very comfortable uh let's go let's go down down to the left we got the Domin dominion uh style foot pegs um they're not bad they look good um they're not as wide well no they're not as long as i'd like them to be so i'll probably end up putting some mini floorboards on there um i think uh on facebook there's people using kuriakin uh foot footboards or floorboards mini whatevers uh so i'll probably go that route because i wear a size 17 so you know i need the comfort um well, but while we're here at the floorboard, before we go a little further, let's go backwards and talk about the Nike Air Jordan 1 uh, Moto shoes that are on my feet. So uh, I got these. There's an unboxing video of these, like right there or something. I don't know what's in there. Uh, cards. And they're really comfortable. Uh, they've got the Velcro uh, thing. You know what I'm trying to say, don't don't judge me. And then it's got a buckle at the top, so that's all you really do. And if you get loose, you just pull the strap. Now, let's see, I've had these for almost two months. Uh, I wear them almost every day to work. Um, if I'm riding the bike or I'm going to work, I'm wearing these shoes. Um, there's been no fraying. Uh, they're still comfortable. I mean, you know, what can I say? For a hundred and seven bucks you can't really go wrong they're not just for the big footed folks they got ones for everybody so go ahead and check that out head over to nike.com uh, and uh check those out um i highly recommend them so get yourself a pair of those all right so back to the bike the uh so we talked about the dominion foot pegs we're going to jump forward to the uh harley davidson crash bar or engine guard and the amazon foot highway pegs um crash bar and it looks good uh, allowed me to put the pegs on there um 
I pray I don't have to use the crash bar for what it's intended to, to do. But for now, it's working. It looks good. I think it looks better uh, than the mustache bar just because it gives you more options to place your, your foot pegs in case you didn't want to put your feet just on top of the mustache bar, you know. Um, I like to be spread out a little bit. So those work well. I got the highway pegs off of Amazon. They're like 60 bucks. Um, can't really go wrong. What I would tell you is to put um, blue Loctite uh, on these right here. What they do is they uh, angle this up and down. Um, but I think I've already lost one and I had to take one out because it was on its way to uh, meet in the highway. So definitely put some blue Loctite on those. Um, but they're fairly simple to put on and put together. Fit the standard Harley crash bar or whatever. Um, and they do work well, they're pretty comfortable. So no complaints there. It is hot. God, dog, it is hot. Um, so we'll circle around, nothing much. I know, what about the bars? We're getting there. We are getting to the bars, but just wait. So then we have the Amazon uh, LED turn signal slash running lights, or flip it if you'd like, doesn't matter to me. Very bright, um, very bright at night. So. Mm, yeah. So even in the daytime, they're, they're pretty bright. Um, no complaints. I really shouldn't look at it, but I did anyway. That's for you. Um, yeah, good circle. Like I said it lights up uh, just about everything right here at night, so you really you're really able to be seen. Uh, let's move on to the other side. Oh, wait, we're still up here. I'm sorry. That's my fault. The Memphis Shades hand guards with the cutout. Uh, just to, they, they match the circle, you know, they match the turn signals very well. Um, a lot of people said they were having issues um, with, with the hand guards, but I put them on in like 10 minutes or whatever, and um, I haven't had any problems with them. They're on there and they look good. And it's, I like the you know kind of club style deal, so works for me. Um, I mean, if you were gonna move your your turn signals, then you could just get the regular uh, hand guards, and your problems would be solved. But if you're keeping the stock ones, do your best to find the ones with the cutout. Um, I got these off of Dennis Kirk, and uh, they were like 80 bucks, but well worth it. I like them. They do what they're supposed to do. And then here we have the Arlen Ness Velocity 65 degree air cleaner. Um, installed it myself in like 15 minutes. That's weird with beer drinking and with my brother giving me a, a hard time about everything because we're brothers and whatever. Um, works well, looks good. For me, I have no problem. It is not in my way. Um, for as far as the uh, brake pedal goes so if I sit on it and I just sit it up you'll see boom I'm hitting that thing all day long but I mean if you have a smaller foot or not as long legs then you might have an issue but as far as I go it works well and it looks good um, so Another reason I got this particular one, um, well, because it was black, but this material is also um, oilless. You don't have to oil it, and it's, as they say, well, I'd say water resistant. So, I mean, not that it rains often here in hot ass Vegas, but if it does, I'm okay. I don't have to constantly re oil it uh, like a screaming eagle or a cannon or something like that. So, it works for me because I'm a little lazy. Um, yeah, I got some issues. And we got the short shots. Um, there is a video on the short shots. It'll be in a card uh, on the, uh, you know, in the corner over there where they put cards. Um, I like the way they look. I like the way they sound. Um, maybe one day um, 
I'll get a uh, two into one, but for now, I like those and they're better than stock, so boom, take that, suckers. Uh, then we have the docking hardware that I have that sissy bar on and the actual seven bag. Um, looks better than the chrome ones that chrome stuff that was there, so even if you're not rocking a, a sissy bar or a luggage rack or something like that, looks pretty good. But you always have the option. And then back here, more LEDs, um, pretty bright as well. So I like the clear lenses because I just think you get a little more light. And if you don't, you don't. If you do, you do. Um, but yeah, so pretty bright. I mean, it's it's like five o'clock, so the sun's right there behind me. Um, all right. Now for the piece de resistance, the Wild One Chubby Psycho Street Fighters, 12 inch bars. So, remember earlier I was like, I don't have ABS. It's a 107 without ABS. And there's a reason. So if you don't have ABS and you wanna put these bars on your bike, you basically have to change all your brake lines you can't just put the little extension piece that you'd get from like harley davidson nope can't do that you gotta change all of it why i don't know you think not having abs and being simpler would just be like oh yeah just throw this cable up here to your master cylinder boom done no shit no so we had to uh get brake lines replace these brake lines to the calipers uh and then so on a stock one has a block right here for your abs module or however it comes factory and uh, it feeds your your, cal your calipers but since you're putting 12 inch bars on you have to replace that with one that just it feeds feeds the uh calipers and, and comes from the master cylinder why i don't i don't know why is that Harley? Why did I have to do all of this work? Why couldn't I just take uh, a cord from the block and up? Why? Why? Why, why Harley? God, you piss me off sometimes. But damn it, I love your products. Um, so yeah, and it's it's not a lot of people. You can't. You can get a kit, but it may not be right. So you really, you're better off just like customizing or making your own. So from the block, which is. I forget the part number from it for it, but that block, I think it's a good rich block. Um, maybe it's a drag block, but you need that block. Uh, so it's just a circle with two lines that come out to the calipers and one that goes up to the master cylinder. These are 16 inches here. And then this one that goes from the master cylinder down is 21 inches. Uh, ow! And then you'll be good to go. Um, I replaced the stock crappy bushings with poly bushings. It was a real pain in the ass. The bars went on great. You know, you still have to depin all your stuff, but you know, the bars went on simple enough. But trying to get these brake lines done, uh, it was a hassle because Harley's difficult. I don't know why they have to be so difficult. And then they're difficult and they don't even make the product to fix it. I had, I had to go outside Harley Davidson to do it. But uh, nevertheless, it is done and it, it's really comfortable. Um, went on a ride today, I had no problems, no fatigues. Thanks, Wind. And then I have the Harley Davidson uh, airflow grips. Uh, I put those on there. For now, I still got stock mirrors, but they don't look right because they're all skinny and the bars are all fat. So we'll be changing those out. And then my next upgrade is uh, it's going to be a cam. So that would go from uh, stage one to stage two. Yeah. And uh, just trying to figure out which cam I want to go with. Um, so, I mean, if you, if you have a uh, Milwaukee 8 motor and, you know, you've put a cam in it. Let me know which one you put it down. Put put it down in the comments. Uh, which one you put in your bike and uh, how's it performing? And if you're having any problems, and then you know help a brother out. 
but other than that that oh and i ordered um a conley's fairing you know the big ones is like half a road glide i like i just like it i'm wide it you know it's really windy out here so it help out um and it allows me to keep the headlight and i like my headlight um so whenever that gets here i mean holy shit whenever that gets here i'll put that on and uh show you guys what it's about but i gotta tell you man i mean I, I wasn't expecting like next day shipping or anything but holy shit holy shit i don't know how they do it with customers i mean like i was like hey i sent messages on facebook on the website i ain't heard shit you know like what the what wtf Connolly's WTF all I want is my fairing so I can put it on here and then look cooler than I already do holy fuck but I digress that is the 2018 Fat Bob 107 without ABS 12 inch bars the Arlen Ness uh, velocity 65 degree air cleaner the short shots and a whole host of other stuff that I just went over. And with that, I leave you with the sweet sounds of a short shot. Uh. So remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with everyone you know. You make your own faith. And uh, if you want to do it, go do it. That's what I do. I don't know what that is, but I should probably get that out. Ah, Vito. So with that, I say goodbye. Adieu. I'm out. <laughs>